YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Noel Blends. We are back at it again with another haircut tutorial. I'm gonna show you guys how I do my high taper step by step. I hope you guys like this video and I hope you guys learned something from it. Other than that, let's get right into it. So the first thing you wanna do is start off by wetting your client's hair and just making sure you comb everything in the way it's supposed to. As you can see, my client does have cowlicks, so just make sure everything's laid in the direction it's supposed to be in. Right here, I just grabbed my number two guard just to make sure everything's nice and down in the bolt. But to be honest, it was already shorter than number two, so I just go in just to make sure. As you can see right here, we are setting our first initial ball guideline from the bottom of his vertical bar to the top of his ear. And just make sure everything's nice and down, uh, down to skin. These trimmers are zero gaps. These are from Babyliss. I do recommend to zero gap all your, all your trimmers for the most part. That way you guys can have the, the sharpest cleanest line work. As well as like when setting in your guidelines. You don't got to put as much pressure. Just let the clipper do the work or the trimmer. Right here we are grabbing our shavers. These are my Andes shavers. We're going all the way to the top and just letting the shaver do its work. Do not put crazy pressure. Just light handed. If you do heavy handed it will be harder to take out that bottom line. Once we do that, you do want to come in with your half guard and create about a half inch guideline. We, this is a high tapering. We're not going to blow it up completely. We want to keep it more compressed blend right here. Next, what you want to do is take off the bottom ball the guideline we created at first and we're blending up as we're going throughout the blend. So we start blending up and then we, we start to sandwich the blend after that we come back down. Once you have taken out that bottom guideline, if you missed any little stubbles and your clippers didn't get it, go back with your zero gap trimmers and just flick out and flip flip it over if you have to. If you still see a little a little line, it, it will take out the line completely with that step. After you do that, you do want to come in with your one and a half guard lever fully closed and create about another half inch guideline. Next, what you want to do is grab your one guard and this is where we're going to start sang sandwiching the blend. Get your one guard lever fully open and we're going to go right on where we did the one and a half. Just remember to keep the blade flat. As you guys can see right there, I closed it halfway and then I, I fully closed it and we're attacking that middle ghost line. Once you notice that the one guard ain't taking out the line, just go ahead and jump to your next step, which is going to be your half guard lever fully closed. And in this step, you do want to utilize your corners more because you can push up the blend. And then when you push up the blend, you have to redo all the steps and it's just it's terrible you don't want to do that so just try to make sure and you just utilize your corners and just attack the little dark spots as much as you can once again once you see a stop taking out the little dark spots jump back down to your your no guard and just play with the lever and attack every little dark spot you see but remember you got to utilize your corners in these steps or else you can push up the blend to get a nice clean blend it's just polishing, it's details. I can do other steps and it's still gonna come out the same way to be honest. You just gotta you just gotta have that eye for it and you develop that as you, as you keep growing in the barber industry. You'll, you'll start to see your blends and any little dark spot. It's basically just taking out the little dark spots, using your corners and just making sure everything's just smooth. Right here we'll be doing this lineup. All the products I use in this videos will be listed down below that way you guys can check them out. Just be patient when doing the lineup. Little by little, it's gonna start getting crispier and crispier. Throw on some enhancements. Like I said, everything is listed down below on to, all the way down to the barber pencil and, and the enhancements I use. When doing the lineup be, or doing the razor, be sure to stretch the skin. That way you don't irritate your client. That's the last thing you want is to irritate your client. I mean, sometimes it does happen when clients have sensitive skin or a new client first timer they they never really get fades so their skin um is really sensitive you just got to be light-handed and not sometimes it, it probably will be irritated just just throw a little bit of alcohol and just it'll calm down all the the redness all the irritation so right here we are setting in our first initial ball the guideline just keeping it under his occipital bone that way it don't stick out you want to keep the blend underneath that or the transition right right below that or right on it that way it don't look like it, it don't throw the whole head shape off 
Next, what you want to do is grab your shaver and just let it do its work. Take it all the way to the top. Light pressure. Do not put crazy pressure because it will be tough to take out that line. Just let it do its work and you should be good. Next, what you want to do is grab your half guard, let it fully close and create about an inch guideline. When doing these steps, just make sure, or we're setting in these guidelines, make sure you guys keep the blade flat and just make sure everything's nice and down and even and neat guidelines. You cannot get a clean fade if your guidelines are not neat. The neater, the nicer the blend will look. When going right underneath his occipital bone, you do not want to dig too crazy in there, so give it more of a flick, like a flare out in the middle, right underneath his occipital bone. That way you don't mess up the head shape. Next, what you want to do is grab your Oster Fast Feeds or your regular clippers, doesn't matter, and just take off the first initial ball the guideline we had created. As you guys can see, it's coming out pretty easily. I just barely open it about a quarter. I don't have to, usually I never open it more than like halfway. I will if I have to, but it's really rare in some cases. It should just really just, just come off by opening it about a quarter. But let's say it doesn't take out the line completely. We're gonna come in with our zero gap trimmers and just take off the remaining little stubbles. Now I'm just getting any little stubbles that my clipper didn't get with my zero gap trimmers from Babyless. Next, what you want to do is grab your one and a half guard lever fully closed and create about another inch guideline. As you guys can see, I am I do keep the blade flat when I'm setting in my my uh, my guidelines. What I've learned is when you keep the blades flat it creates a nicer transition it gives you those nice buttery blends it's like sanding down the hair basically instead of really just picking out the little dark spots you're sanding down the hair and when you sand something down it's little by little and it just creates a smooth a smooth surface so in that case that's how i do it with the hair that's how i picture it as i'm like i'm technically just sanding down the hair basically So now for this step, we are going with our number one guard, lever fully open. We're going to copy the same thing we just did with the one and a half right on it, keeping the blade flat as well, all the way to the top. And then I close it halfway right there. Now we're going to go a little bit more underneath, still keeping the blade flat. Like I said, sanding down the hair. I apologize for my camera not focusing right here in this step. This is the only step that my camera didn't focus that good. And then right here, I fully close it. Now we're just attacking that middle ghost line. Like I said, excuse my camera. I'm sorry, guys. But it just went out of focus right here. And this was the only part it went out of focus. So once you finish that step, we come in with our half guard. Like we're fully closing. We're basically taking out that middle ghost line now. Any little dark spots that we missed. Remember to utilize your corner right here in this step. You do want to give it more of a flick. You don't want to really keep the blade flat because you can push it up and if you push it up you're gonna have to restart the whole blend again and it, you're gonna take even longer on your haircut so just be careful with this step just go right on the dark spots on their line and and just flick out give it a little flick if it don't come out then jump back down to your no guard fully open and start blending with that So now what you want to do is go uh, grab your number two guard lever fully open and then closed about a quarter. So basically three quarters open and we're just going to go straight up and connect the top to the bottom as best as we can. Mm -hmm. 
Next, what you want to do is grab your one and a half guard, lever fully open, and I close up one little notch. So three quarters open, and we're going to go straight up and attack the little dark spots as well. Right underneath the number two guard. So right here, what I'm doing is just jumping down back to my no guard, just detailing basically the blend, just polishing it up. As you guys can see, it's looking really clean. We just got, all we got left is throw on our lineup and it's gonna come together really nice. Add a little bit of hairspray just to lock in his hairs on the back of his lineup. Shout out to Freddy Drip Official. They sent me this care package of some texture powder. I just throw some on just to give him a quick little style. It works super dope. I really liked it. Just make sure you brush it in with your comb, your styling comb, just so you can have it laid down nicely how you want. So just in case you guys forgot how my client came in looking like, this was the before. And this was the after. It came out super clean, super smooth. I posted this on TikTok, on Instagram. It got a lot of views, It's it, everybody liked it, they liked a simple basic look. I think it came out super fire, you guys can see a nice little high taper. Clean little lineup, messy little top with some texture, nothing crazy. If you guys like this haircut, please comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next week. Like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, that way you guys get alerted every time I drop a new video. Follow me on Instagram, on TikTok, at Noel Blends. Message me on there if you guys have any questions. Other than that, it's your boy Noel Blends, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.